in this segment, we'll go over using the DJI Assistant app. So now that our Ronin's on, we're going to go ahead and go to the DJI Assist app. It's free to download on the app or Play Store. Go ahead and search in for our Ronin, which is right over there. And I'm already signed in. Normally when you receive our Ronin, you have to sign in using our username and password, which is in the instruction manual that we provide for you when you rent this equipment from us. So I'm just gonna go ahead and click it, hit okay, and there I am. Now if you go to right over here where it says viewer, you're gonna go ahead and see the Ronin settings or you know, it's basic, it's status update. So you have your capacity, your battery over there at 92%. Um, the Ronin's been on for 10 minutes or so. Uh, the important part to look up is the top three numbers over here. Um, one is for the pan axis, the middle one is tilt axis, the bottom one is roll axis. The Ronin is not as 100% balanced, but if you notice it's at negative one, zero, and then positive one. So you can think of that as 98% balance or 99% balance. And if you notice the three lines over here, they don't go up and down too much. Almost looks like a human being flat lighting. If you see that on the Ronin, it means you're doing a great job. So now we're gonna go to the gimbal side, which is located over here where my thumb is pointing. I'm gonna go up to where it says wizard over here, and we're gonna hit the auto-tune stabilization. When doing this, the Ronin is gonna test all of its motors, and it's also gonna vibrate every now and then. When it does that, it doesn't mean that you broke it, it's just taking the engine to its full extent, making sure it can't go there so it doesn't break itself. And if you notice, now we're at zero, 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 as opposed to negative one, zero, and positive one. The green one goes to negative one every now and then, but it's okay. Now we're at 99.8% perfectly balanced. Another thing that you can do if you go all the way to the right over here with my, with my thumb, you can hit calibrate system. So as you can see, the system is now calibrating. It turns off the motor for a quick second, so you can go ahead and reset everything, make sure that everything is perfect. Also, if you remember, um, earlier on when we took the Ronin out, we had everything displayed, we had a remote control. To use that remote control with the Ronin, you're gonna go where it says internal receiver, which is in the more options over here on where my thumb is on the right. So we're gonna go over there, which is right there. Now it's on. So now you turn on your remote control for the Ronin M, it will, you'll be able to control it from that controller. And that, my friends, is how you set it up, balance, and control the Ronin M.